Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today, we are going to be making something which is not readily available in all countries. Now, you probably heard of potassium nitrate, and you can mix it with sugar and make like smoke bombs and all sorts of different things, including flares and so many different videos. And there's lots, or uh, so many different things. There's lots of videos online about how to make these things, but you need potassium nitrate. Now, in the US, you can buy it as like stump remover and fertilizer and all sorts of stuff, but I live in Canada. And in Canada, it is not you're not allowed to buy potassium nitrate because it can be used to make bombs. But there's an easy way to make potassium nitrate at home, and we're only going to need a couple things. So you can see over here we have these um, cold packs. Now cold packs, um, th they can be found at almost any drugstore. These particular ones contain calcium ammonium nitrate. Um, you can see the ingredients right here: calcium ammonium nitrate and water. So, this is just the box that I got them out of, and each box contains two. Um, so, we're going to be opening these up in a moment and taking out the calcium ammonium nitrate. Now, I watched a video, and Nerd Rage, um, which is a different science um, YouTuber, he um, actually did make potassium nitrate, but with ammonium nitrate cold packs, which you can't buy in Canada either, because ammonium nitrate is also used in bombs and stuff. So, I'm going to be trying to make it out of this calcium ammonium nitrate today. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and open both of these and pour it all into this jar. Um, so we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so if you are actually looking for these, um, I should probably mention that I got these from Walmart. So you can buy them from Walmart. We also use these in a separate video to make nitric acid. Um, anyhow, so they have multiple different uses. So you can see I have, uh, there's a bit of dirt there, 187 grams. And I did spill a bit over here, so it's probably about 190 grams in those two different cold packs. So that's 85 grams each. Uh, so that's pretty good. We'll see how much uh, potassium nitrate we get out of this. Now the other ingredient that I didn't mention is this um, no salt salt. So salt free salt. Um, and it, it's just called that because normal salt is um, sodium chloride. This is potassium chloride. Um, so this potassium chloride is exactly what we're going to need. Um, now, this doesn't have to be calcium ammonium nitrate. It could be pure calcium nitrate, pure ammonium nitrate, basically anything that's less reactive than potassium. So, you, for example, you couldn't use something like cesium nitrate because cesium is more reactive than potassium. But basically, uh, the potassium, because it's more reactive, is just displacing the um, other, um, whatever you're using, like the calcium or the ammonium, which is from the nitrate. So it's displacing it, creating calcium chloride and ammonium chloride, and then potassium nitrate. And luckily for us, potassium nitrate isn't very soluble in really cold water, so we can actually precipitate out the crystals from everything else. So anyhow, what we're gonna do is, um, I'm thinking, okay, so we have like 190 grams, let's say. So I'm just gonna add 190 milliliters of water and try to dissolve everything, and uh, we'll see if it dissolves. Um, so I'm probably gonna heat this up in the microwave after I add the water, because uh, this will become really cold when you add the water, and we definitely need to uh, keep this warm to get everything dissolved. So we'll be back once everything is dissolved. Okay, so everything looks pretty well dissolved, and what you're seeing at the bottom in, in the suspension here in the cloudy solution is actually an anti-caking agent. This just stops little beads from fusing together inside of the bag. And we don't really want it for a reaction. So we're going to take a totally separate jar that's nice and clean, and we're going to filter it off. This is just a coffee filter, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, now, I made sure our solution is back to room temperature by heating it up in the microwave and making sure everything's dissolved. Um, because we don't want a really cold solution because that will hinder with everything. So, we're just going to pour this into here and um, just let it sit. You can see what comes over. It's still slightly cloudy, but it's much clearer. So, um, I'll meet you back as soon as this is done. Okay, so while that's filtering over there, we'll actually prepare a solution of... Um, Calcium, um, or calcium, sorry, um, potassium chloride. Now you can see that there's lots of different ingredients on here, but those are, uh, those are just a teeny percentage of what's actually here. Um, and they will affect our purity slightly, but it's not too bad. So, um, we're gonna be adding an, about an equal amount, so let's see right here. We have to get 190 grams of this stuff, that's actually quite a bit. You can pick this stuff up by thrif at Thrifty's, by the way. Um, this calcium chloride. Or uh, not cal Why do I keep saying calcium chloride? Sorry, potassium chloride. Um, okay, that is 109 grams. And our beaker is full. 
So, um, I'm gonna go put this in a bit separate container and fill this right up to 190 grams. So, be back in a moment. Okay, so now we have 190 grams of potassium chloride, and it's quite a lot. I'm actually gonna have to make another trip to the store to get some more of this stuff soon, because, uh, this has almost lost my potassium chloride. Anyhow, so as soon as this, uh, solution is done filtering, um, we're gonna add this directly to this solution and heat this up quite a bit. Because we don't really want to dissolve this in a separate solution, because the more water we have, the, uh, there's going to be more potassium nitrate dissolved in the solution, we're going to get a lower yield. So by doing it this way, we'll add this directly in, heat it up, everything will hopefully be, be dissolved, then we can re-precipitate out our product. Um, if everything won't dissolve, we will have to add more water because we have to ensure that everything is dissolved. Because if everything is not dissolved, then we'll have um, some potassium chloride as a, cont a contamination product in the end. Um, so hopefully that wouldn't happen, but, um, so I'll meet you back as soon as I've added this in here and heated it up. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you before we added in our potassium chloride what the solution looks like. Um, so you can see it's, uh, quite cloudy still, but it's much clearer. And there's no, um, cake, anti-caking agent on the bottom. Um, so I actually realized I must have had something on my desk that I didn't clean up properly. Because, um, as I was filtering this, I've taken the filter off now, but some of it was coming over and running down the sides. And it's reacted with whatever was on my desk, um, producing this purple color, which I found rather interesting. Anyhow, so, now we can go ahead, add this, and, uh, heat it up and make sure everything dissolves. And if not, not everything dissolves, make sure to add a bit more water till everything's dissolved. So I'll meet you back once that's done. Okay, so we're quite hot solution is here now, and, um, it hopefully contains some potassium nitrate. Now, I kind of messed up a bit because... I'm assuming the uh, potassium chloride has an anti-caking agent because as and the anti-caking agent obviously doesn't dissolve because as I was uh, heating this stuff up it wasn't all dissolving so I added more water and then more and more and more um, and it didn't dissolve and I added actually 200 milliliters which is probably way too much um, and it still didn't dissolve so I filtered it off and I was left with this sort of cloudy solution I'm assuming there was an anti-caking agent on the potassium chloride also, which wasn't allowing it all to dissolve. So, uh, be aware of that. Anyhow, hopefully this 200, extra 200 milliliters of water doesn't affect our final, um, concentration, um, or our final percentage of potassium nitrate that we get. Hopefully it doesn't affect it too much. So what I'm going to do now is take this rather, yeah, still quite warm, um, solution here and just stick it in the freezer. This will help it rapidly cool, and, um, when it's, uh, probably half an hour to an hour later, we quite quite cold, and at that point we should see beautiful needles of potassium nitrate crystals which have crystallized out. Hopefully. If not, well then, perhaps I added too much water and it's still dissolved in the solution and we won't be able to get it out, or, I don't know. Anyhow, so meet you back um, once I've done putting it in the freezer. Okay, so you can see I put the jar in the freezer right here, and you can see the beautiful needles of potassium nitrate crystals that have come out of solution. So I'm just going to let this sit a bit longer because it's still not super cold. Um, and we'll see if we get any more. So um, I'll meet you back as soon as this is done freezing. Okay, so after our crystals have been precipitated, we just set the mode on this thing here to dry. And I added it on top of some paper towel to help it dry quicker. So now these are totally dry here. So um, now it's time to purify them. Now we are left with this other solution. And um, I'm going to stick it back in the freezer to see if we can get any more potassium nitrate crystals out. You'll know it's potassium nitrate if they form long needle-like things, if, uh, crystals. If it's not long and needle-like, it's probably some other salt and uh, don't take it um, out of the jar and add it to this. So to purify this, basically we're going to first need to weigh it. So we're going to stick it in here and see how much it weighs. Okay, so we have 164 grams of these potassium nitrate crystals. And you have to make sure they are dry for obvious reasons so you're not weighing the water. Um, anyhow, so now what we do is um, we're going to re-dissolve this into a recrystallization. Now, in boiling water, 24, just over 24 grams of potassium nitrate will dissolve in 100 milliliters of boiling water. So, we're going to calculate this um, based on the 24. Um, so, that's like 600 and something milliliters of water is what we're going to need uh, to dissolve all this potassium nitrate when it's boiling. Now, in theory, how a recrystallization works is because this is so much more soluble at high temperatures compared to low temperatures, when we boil this, um, everything will be dissolved, including the impurities, and then when we cool it, 
this will recrystallize out as a um an, another uh the pure salt and all impurities which are much more soluble at lower temperatures will be left in the water. Now at zero degrees Celsius, one point three grams of um, potassium nitrate will dissolve in a hundred milliliters of water. So we are going to have a couple of grams, um, about nine grams of waste, which will be stuck in solution, which we cannot get out. Um, but that's pretty good, considering we'll be able to get rid of most impurities. So I'm going to quickly do a recrystallization, um, uh, and then I'll be back. So, um, another thing to do, when we heat up the solution, quickly filter it to get rid of any um, other dust that might have contaminated this. Um, so be back in a moment as soon as I've done the filtration um, after I've dissolved everything into solution. Oops, I messed up. Um, we actually only need, uh, I added 700 milliliters of water. We only need 70. I uh, messed up on the solubility levels because instead of 24, just over 24 um, grams dissolving in 100 milliliters of water, it's actually 240 grams dissolving in 100 milliliters of water. So it's actually a lot more soluble than I expected which isn't good because now we have to boil this all down uh, to reobtain our crystals of potassium nitrate. So we'll be back once I boil this down. Okay, so in the end we actually got 115 grams. So this stuff is extremely pure and unlike most of uh, the videos I've seen on YouTube, it isn't discolored or anything, it's actually very white and these are beautiful crystals of potassium nitrate here. Uh, so we had 115 grams in the end. And I believe we could have got up to probably about 150, but because I added way too much uh, water and got the the um, uh, the solubility of potassium nitrate wrong, I believe we lost some. So there is about 10 grams of impure stuff in here from the dissolution of it, um, but that's not pure. This is all that's pure. So we have um, 100, 1,415 grams of very pure stuff. So um, we will be using this in future videos, uh, someone requested me to make a smoke bomb, so I will be doing that rather soon. And uh, potassium nitrate is just a good thing to have on hand. So this can be done from calcium ammonium nitrate cold packs, you can use normal nit uh, cal or, um, ammonium nitrate cold packs, and you can also use just calcium nitrate, Any, um, basically anything that's uh, less reactive than potassium. So this is my uh, procedure, and um, I'm very happy with the end result. And, um, so anyhow, I guess I'll store this up, and, um, we'll use it in future videos. Hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, bye.